And I don't know if you've seen this uh, quite a bit, sort of with the rise of this new uh, right contingency. The left is either inaccurate or mi misleading, we know, in so many facets of the economy, culture, not the least of which is how they use identity politics. But now there's this contingency, and Jared was talking about this, on the right, not the mainstream right, but semi-French who play the same game. Namely, they claim that race largely determines IQ, IQ largely determines socioeconomic status, thus different races are doomed to different socioeconomic fates, period. Your book posits a very different argument, doesn't it, and a very convincing one. Well, uh, yes, uh, 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 the, 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 the two main uh, explanations of uh, disparities in the 20th century and into our own time are, one, uh, genetics, and two, discrimination. Mm -hmm. And the irony is that American progressives have taken the lead, took the lead in both those cases. That is, 100 years ago, American progressives were completely uh, 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 on the side of genetic determinism. Yes. Uh, by the end of the 20th century, they were on the opposite end of the spectrum, and now all the disparities were due to discrimination. And it, it, it's sad because there's a tendency for intellectuals to go for one-factor explanations. Mm -hmm. And in point of fact, there, there are so many different factors that it's virtually impossible that there could be any such thing as uh, e equal outcomes for different groups. Let me give you one simple uh, example Please. that is ignored almost universally. Different groups have different median ages. Uh, Japanese Americans have a median age of 50. Right. Mexican Americans have a median age of 26. Now, why would you ever expect to see Japanese Americans uh, represented uh, among baseball stars, even though right. uh, Hispanic Americans are hugely overrepresented among the leading baseball players? Right. I, why would you expect uh, a group uh, with a median age of 26 to be represented in professional occupations like, say, surgeons or high managerial executive positions that require long years of education and long years of experience? How many 26-year-olds from any ethnic background would qualify for such jobs? But the, the discussions go on as if age is not a factor. Right. Incidentally, this is also true internationally. I mean, there are any number of countries where the median age is over 40, and, ma and many other countries where the median age is under 20. There's no way you should expect them to have the same outcomes when those outcomes require a great deal of uh, knowledge, experience, and so on. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's a, it's a great point, and, and obviously one of the main macro points in your book. We see the same thing in media. You know, uh, you see it with, obviously, I think the median age of Fox News viewers is in their 70s, and so the ads are different. The same thing when we went to, ever we were looking at, uh, at sponsorships, we said, well, hold on, people actually watch this show for an average of half an hour or more. Said, what, what, what do you mean? That, that determines the ad rates, how long people stay with it. Uh, time is a huge factor, which you often don't necessarily see discussed.